Well, new tonight, the Ohio Supreme Court is set to decide on a rule that could change how violence at bars is charged. The question, should people be able to have guns inside a place that sells liquor? 10TV's Lacey Chris breaks down what case this spurs from. Currently, the law states you cannot have a gun in a place with a liquor license if you are drinking. However, the Ohio Supreme Court has decided it's going to look into a case surrounding that law. The appeal is from Elijah Striblin's case. Court documents show back in August of 2022, Striblin went into a Muskegon County bar carrying his concealed gun. He had five drinks, then ended up getting into a bar fight. The documents say that fight ended in Striblin shooting someone in the neck. Striblin was sentenced to three years of community control. Back in 2022, the U.S. Supreme Court made a decision in the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin. The justices ruled firearm regulations are unconstitutional unless they are firmly rooted in our nation's history and tradition of gun regulations. The Ohio Supreme Court decided to take up this case, but there is no word on when a decision will be made. Lacey Crisp, 10TV News. Now, the bar where this happened has also had other violent incidents, and a bar can face consequences for how people there act. Here in Columbus, we're following some cases where the city has flagged establishments. Most recently, MIA Hookah Bar on Summit and Fifth was raided by Columbus police. In May, three people were killed and three others injured at a shooting near the lounge, and there was another shooting at that intersection. Also recently, Jack's Corner Pub on Summit and East Tompkins Street was forced to close by court order after a deadline, uh, deadly shooting in 2023. It has since reopened under new ownership. And Julep on North High Street closed after a deadly beating outside that location.